This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Stephanie Korn with me. You are from the table. At, you work out of Perth and Smith Falls? I'm, I just work out of Perth. You work out of Perth. And you are the Social Justice and Advocacy Coordinator. Welcome to FYI. Thank you so much. It's great you to be have here. got so much going on. I mean, when you, you, do you think the table, some people automatically just go to, you know, a, a, like a food bank or food services type of thing. You do everything but the food part. Is how you that's, explained it to me because you've got so much going on. What is it you do, Stephanie? Well, I oversee um, both the advocacy office where participants can come to us for any navigation sources. We connect them with social services in the county and see to and attend to any needs they might have or questions they want answered. That's the advocacy part of my job. And the other side, social justice, is looking at action items and starting up initiatives for people to get involved in, in various action items. So we are looking at rural transportation, basic income, and affordable housing. Those are three of the main things we're addressing right now. And we're going to talk more specifically about uh, affordable housing right now, too. Right. All right. So you've got a, a program of Building Lanark County Affordable Housing, and the acronym is BLAH. So can you yeah. talk a little bit about that? Sure. So this was um, born out of basically the shutdown of the public housing coalition that Lanark County um, offered. And we took it upon ourselves to build up law, building Lanark County affordable housing. And we want to offer public information sessions with ex expert guest speakers, um, as well as offer field trips to interested community members to look at community housing developments in Ontario. We're going to do field trips to Ottawa and Kingston and look at successful housing developments like cooperative housing and also um, sustainable housing. We want to kind of marry both affordable and sustainable together. And we are opening up our public sessions on the first Mondays of every month from March through to October starting with um, Monday, March 6th, where we've invited a number of our municipal leaders to talk to us about what they are looking at in regards to affordable housing and co-housing projects that they have going on. So when you say you're going on these field trips, what is it, uh, what is it you're going to look at that I'm assuming you're trying to compare it to what we can have? Yeah, well, we're, we really want to address uh, possible options that we could proposed in Lanark County. And so we're looking to um, educate ourselves and uh, gather research and information and also network. So the best way is to communicate and collaborate. And so we're going to look to see successful community housing projects that are established already. And with the interest, a great, we have a great interest in cooperative housing specifically. Okay, we don't what, have any what is that? Where is oh, that's, um, basically a collection of members who come together and work together without landlords mm -hmm. or rent to uh, create a housing situation. And it can happen in a variety of ways, be it individual townhouses working together or a building structure on its own. And we also want to incorporate um, sustainable housing um, with net zero development so that the cost of running the um, operation is as low as possible. All right, so does the, is that where subsidized housing comes into, that sort of thing? Um, part of the cooperative initiative that uh, we are working with is looking at offering uh, community housing options within the cooperative itself. Okay, okay, I mean, we, we look at the rents uh, and you know, I, People, it's, it's hard to own uh, your own property, much less rent a, a, an apartment to live in, too. So it's, it's so hard for people to make it sometimes. It is very difficult and um, frightening as well. And so this was born out of creating um, possible options and avenues in order to explore and create hope and interest and a conversation about what could be. I love, the, I love the fact that you just said create hope for people. That, that just, yeah, create hope. Yeah, you know, We've got to do that. We've, and I mean, when it's, you know, something basic is just having a roof over your head. To create hope that you have some place to go tonight. Absolutely. And we consider that a human right. So yes. 
Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So now you have a public information night coming up too. Yeah, we um, have invited uh, Madame Mayor Judy Brown and um, Rob Rayner, the um, Tay Valley Township Reed, and Lanark Highlands Reed, Peter McLaren and Steve Fournier from Drummond North Wellesley, uh, as well as Kurt Greaves to come and open up the conversation with community members. So, and who are you hoping to, to come? Who who are you hoping that would go to this? Oh, we would like everybody to come from the community of all walks of life who are interested and to have a concern with affordable housing. So everybody from the people that are struggling themselves to people that might have something to offer to help? Absolutely. All right. I think it's, it's, a, it's a really not only hot topic, but cr and a crisis that we want everybody to start really talking about and working towards creating solutions. Absolutely, absolutely. And where is that going to be located? That's going to be at the table. So we're holding that from 6.30 to 8 p.m. on Monday, March 6th, following our community meal, which runs from 4.30 to 6. So we're inviting everybody to have a meal and then stay for the conversation. Excellent, excellent. Now, you and I were talking earlier, too. There's a, a survey coming out, too, for the Lanark County Rural Transportation Group. Yes, we have the um, Lanark County Rural Transportation Working Group, which has just formed and it's a very exciting initiative and we've created a survey which closes next week about community members interests in rural transportation we are working with uh, a variety of community members from chris Hahn, the uh, dean of oakland college perth campus and madame mayor judy brown as well as many of her team members and some representatives from elkan the lanark county community action network um, and we're looking initially, us, and also with Marilyn Bird from Atlantic Transportation, we're looking initially at um, starting a, a run, a route in Perth, and with the hope of that developing from once a week to a regular route to, so people can access groceries and um, create uh, the ability to get to the college and, and do a tour around Perth. So initially that would be once a week and looking to develop that to a more regular route. And ultimately our goal at the table and with Elcan is to connect the municipalities to, to have that grow even more and yeah, connect Lanark County. Excellent, excellent. I mean, we, we, we talk about, you know, accessibility. Some people think accessibility. I've already used this example earlier today too. Accessibility is sometimes people think just ramps and wheelchairs. Accessibility is being able to get somewhere that, that like not having transportation is a barrier to people and it's it being accessible to their own community. Absolutely. It's it's, it's a huge concern um, and we want to bring the community together and have accessibility for not just shopping, but also cultural events and coming together. Absolutely, absolutely. And I really like the fact that you're thinking of branching out and, and joining municipalities, the, the our counties too, that'd be wonderful. It would be wonderful, that's the dream. <laughs> yes, it is. You're creating hope, here you are creating hope. I love that, I love that. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I, I know earlier you said you were at Interville House yesterday speaking too. Oh, no, um, I had asked Erin Lee to be a guest speaker for the Community Action oh. Training and Engagement Program. So she came in and spent two hours with us, and it was absolutely inspiring. And as I said to you, I was even amazed at how many programs they have going on. So oh, okay. Really oh, I misunderstood. I thought you went there, but Erin went to you. Oh, she's amazing. The, that whole group of people yeah. are, are amazing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, you, what a great connection, because it sounds like you all are doing wonderful things for our community. How do people get a hold of you, Stephanie? Oh, I can um, be reached at the table. I'm, I'm here quite a bit, Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. So just walking in, you'll likely find me. And um, you can also call at 613-267-6428. Uh, and I am extension 104. Excellent. Excellent. Is there anything you'd like to add before we wrap up? Oh, I think that's enough for now. I'd love to come back another time and talk about what's happening next. <laughs> uh, we, we will book a time with you right away. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Thank you for everything you do too for your community. Oh, thank you so much for having me and I'll talk to you another time. 